Hey guys, so today I have a five first impressions for you and I've got to say that I'm super excited because I'm getting out of the house and going grocery shopping, which is most people's lives now, but I'm excited to get out and even if it's to a German infested place, I'm going to relish in it and be excited to leave for a little bit. Um, but no, not really, just kidding. But I do get to put on makeup and I really don't do that unless I'm leaving the house anymore at all. Like the last time I had a video, I also left. So that's going to be the trend right now because I don't feel like putting on makeup every day if I'm really not going anywhere. It's just not me. I see a lot of people on YouTube doing it just for fun and that's great and I might feel that way at one point, but I haven't felt that way. So I grabbed a couple products that I haven't tried yet. Um, so we can test it out together real fast because I don't want this video to be a million years long either. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop talking. Let's get into it. First, I have this LA Girl Velvet Bronzer Contour Stick to try out. And again, I only need my makeup to last like an hour or two at the most today. So that's why, I don't know, my makeup isn't the best right now. I used a BB cream because I don't need that much coverage literally I'm gonna be wearing a mask so you're not gonna see much but we're gonna do this anyways and see what happens I have a mirror right here but I'm just gonna apply it normally where I would hmm that's like more orangey red than I thought it would be but we're gonna probably work with it because it might work for me Let's do that. And I'm going to buff it out with I have a foundation brush, but I think I'm just going to use this little brush because I like these for cream contours. And I do have the contour brush of this, which is this one here. But as you can see, this little piece already like came unglued very fast. Um, right after washing it, it kind of came off. So that sucks a little bit. But I didn't really love these brushes anyways. They're not my favorite because they do like tug. But I don't know. They're easier to blend out cream foundation. Unless you're using your fingers. But unless I'm near a sink. I don't like to get my fingers dirty from makeup. I know there's plenty of people that like to apply their makeup with their fingers. But not me. Okay, thoughts on it. It is kind of orange, more orange than I like, but it blended out well. There's color there. It's like pigmented and showing up, that's for sure. I am going to add a little bit more on this side and here. I feel like I blended that away. But at least it's a product that you can see. I just think I would get a different shade later. But... I'm not mad at it. It's like very visible, very much there. So that's a win in my book. Next up I have this Makeup Obsession Mega Metal Highlighter. It doesn't have the exact shade on it. I've already looked, but it does have the number R070A on here, but I will leave it down on the bottom of the screen, the actual name that I can find or say I couldn't find it on there. Um, but this is what it looks like. I got mine at Target and it's just a really pretty golden it has like specks of like brown it looks like a bronzer was mixed into it kind of but it looks really pretty so let's see how this goes whoa mama there's like a pink hue too but i don't really see pink in here but can you see that that's like blinding i didn't even mean for that to happen i feel like it doesn't go with the rest of my face at all Wow. Okay. I don't need to add any more to the brush to get it here. Whoa. That's beautiful. Okay. That's a win because I love a lot of pigment on my face. And it has shine. Like you can see a little bit of flecks of glitter on it. But it's a very subtle and very pretty. So I approve of this as well. Good. This video is going well so far. Now, I've tried this product before, but not this color. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Keep It Peachy Blush 
and it just looks like a really fun shade. I always go for more mauve colors or like brighter pinks, but I don't know. This one was on sale when I bought it, so I figured I would try this color and see if it worked for my skin tone because it does look kind of light, but sometimes I like that for more natural um, looks. This is what it looks like. It's a really pretty color. So let's see how this goes on. Well, that did have a lot of pigment to it. I brought that too far because I wasn't expecting so much to be on my brush. It's tried and true. I love wet and wild blushes and this just proved the same thing and it is a very natural blush but it's beautiful so I'm also excited to have tried this shade. I don't know why I didn't try it before. I mean I guess because I thought it was too light but on my skin tone it's still showing up pretty well so I like that one as well. And now I wanted to try the All May Love Yourself Lip Vibes lipstick in Love Yourself. It looks like this. I love the packaging of all of them. They all have different packaging. Um, but this color was just a fun color to try. And since I'm kind of drab, I feel like I should wear a brighter lip today. I don't know. For my mood because I'm getting out of the house. I don't know what it is, but it just feels good. I'm going to use a little hand mirror so I can watch really what I'm doing. The pigment is there, you guys. That's a beautiful color. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. It's like a burnt red color. Oh, I'm obsessed with this color. I'm glad I chose this shade. That's pretty, like, really pretty. So, I'm just winning in this whole thing right now, aren't I? <laughs> okay, and last but not least, we're gonna try this I Love Revolution Fixing Spray. It's the Guava and Rose scent. I know they have a bunch of different ones. Um, I'm not sure really why they call it a fixing spray. It's basically a setting spray when I looked it up, so let's just mist my face and see how this goes. Hopefully the mister isn't bad. Mm, no, that's a very fine gentle mist. I can like get it right up in my face. Mm. It has like a subtle fragrance, but it smells kind of like a fresh clean smell. I don't really get like too much of the guava. I get more of the rose, I feel like, but very light rose. It's like lingering, like I still smell it in the air. It's nice. I enjoyed that. And the mister was really nice too, so I don't know. That's a win in my book as well. I have like nothing bad to say about any of these things. Well, that's everything for this video. I'm excited about all of these products, actually. I mean, I already knew that I liked Wet n Wild, but I'm excited that this shade actually showed up on my face. Um, the contour, again, I feel like it's the wrong shade, even though, I don't know, maybe it's grown on me. Maybe with the right eye makeup, but I didn't go too crazy because I'm just going to the grocery store. Um, but the application and everything of it shows up, blends out easily, so like that, it's pigmented. This was oh so pigmented, like if you can see the lining, so in love, love with this. This lipstick is a dream, it's beautiful, like a beautiful, beautiful shade. Love, love, love this. And then this smelled really good, so I have no qualms about this. I feel like all setting sprays work, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but sometimes the misters are horrible and this one has a very fine, amazing mister, so just letting y'all know. That's everything. It was a total win, five for five, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys.